Welcome back, folks. The channel is not fully restored yet, so it will take a little bit more time. I know, it's rough. It's hard on me too, I'm sorry. But for now, I've been playing on the test server, and this vehicle right here, the Action X Centurion, is pretty good. It's actually almost like playing with the Object 140. Now, it's slightly bigger, well, a lot bigger than the Object, but it has almost the same DPM. Almost. And the traverse, as well as the terrain resistance, is almost the same, so it doesn't feel sluggish whatsoever. And it's pretty fast, it could keep up with the object. So this thing is like a British version of a high DPM medium tank. It's very good. Now as you can see, the DPM is pretty close. The object is 2900, the Action X Centurion is 2721, so that's off by 180. Now, they introduced special features with this patch, which is a bonus to your tank by ways of insignia and emblems. So click on exterior, and you can see that they modified this page, or this tab. And they included bonuses for emblems and inscriptions. So click on here. You can see that different emblems and different inscriptions will give you different percent bonus to your crew skills. So some of them are conditional, like 2% to the driver when your vehicle has 20% less health. So some of these are conditional, but mm, it's mostly fair. And the rest, or the better ones, are in the back. So the 1% to everybody is amazing. So here you can see with the special emblems. Now, these emblems are not racist, so you cannot get special bonuses on Americans versus you know, French flags, it does not work like that. But special bonuses right here is 1% to everybody crew scale. Whereas other ones are like commander, loader, and they're situational. So, ick. But for these, they're pretty good. So 1% bonus to everybody. And you can have four of them depending on different tanks. Some tanks could have only one emblem, but it's about 4% to 3% bonus to all your crew skills if you modify these emblems. Now, these does not require gold, so you can use credits to give yourself a slight vents, improved vents on your tank effect, which is very good. So basically, with these modifications to the tank, the Action X Centurion could have a reload of around 7 seconds if you have brothers in arms for the crew skills. That's insane. And the DPM on this vehicle, if you have everything like coffee or tea, British, British drink tea, the tea, biscuits, the brothers in arms, the emblems and inscriptions, you could have around 3,500 DPM with this vehicle. This thing will reload every 6.7 seconds with a gun. That's insanely good. It's like playing with a Russian medium tank, except you have more accuracy, more penetration by four millimeters, more alpha, and more view range. Yeah, this thing is crazy good. Now, there are some features also covered with this patch, such as the Action X Carnarvon. What is this thing? <laughs> the Carnarvon's second turret, the Centurion's Mark III turret or Mark IV turret was replaced with the Action X turret for some reason, and you get this thing. The Action X Carnarvon. <laughs> I don't know if it's a buff or a nerf. In my opinion, it's a nerf because I like to have the mantlet, like this turret right here, on the Carnarvon. Okay, it's not the. I think it's Mark V turret. But yeah, it's better to have the mantlet than this cheek, but the cheek is better sloped. So it's a up for debate, but yeah, you're going to have the Action X Carnarvon. Same goes for the Action X Conqueror if it's stock. So yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, it's, it's super weird, but for now, yeah, this vehicle is very good. So let's have a fun, already have a recorded game, so you'll see how fast this vehicle moves and maneuvers in comparison to the FE4202. So hope you guys enjoyed the clip, 
I'll see you guys when the channel is back to normal. So enjoy the clip. And here's a live gameplay of the Action X Centurion. Now it's test server, so everything's tier 10 with gold shell. Womp womp womp. Oh well. But as you can see, this vehicle is very fast to rev up. And it can go faster than the 40 kilometers per hour limit on the FE4202. So it's very fast. See, I try to wiggle? Yeah, this thing could shift, and the terrain resistance is very low on this vehicle, so it can shift very quickly. It's not a bad looking tank, too. So it does have the gun depression and the accuracy. The gun's the same on the FE4202. The only difference is they modified the armor and the vehicle hull for more speed and less armor. So that's a trade-off, but yeah, the DPM is still pretty insane. So as always, they changed the view range as well as the draw distance, well, mostly the draw distance. So sniping diagonal corners on the draw distance square is not as effective, but oh, zoom mod. I need my zoom mod. You already know me, but yeah, as you can see, the accuracy is very, very good. It mostly lands where you point, and the aim time is very fast too. So the gun's amazing. The armor is all right. It's like playing with a leopard. It's slightly bigger than a leopard one, but oh, shooting without zoom mods. Got his tracks. He's still there. So as you can see, the reload is crazy fast. The reload is crazy good. I have 6 point... Actually, 7.1 seconds with these crew scales and the special emblems and inscriptions. But yeah, zoom mods does help with your accuracy because it's such a small target and your mouse has to mouse over it. Zoom mod. Legal zoom mod, all right? It's not the super zoom mod, it's the legal zoom mod. We didn't even scratch them. But yeah, the accuracy is very good as long as I can point towards where I'm pointing towards. But as you can see, this vehicle shifts very quickly. So, yeah, it's a very pretty tank. Nice upgrade to the Action or the Centurion 7 1 into the Action X Centurion. It's like playing with the 7 1, except you have better DPM, faster everything. So, yeah, this thing is very good. <sighs> Will people actually play the tier 10 British medium tanks now? Maybe, but this thing is super good. Very good gun depression, 10 degrees. So no problem with abusing hills. Alright. Bounce a shot from my IS-3 on the upper plate, but that was slightly based on the hill. It's not the actual plate itself. So that's an auto bounce angle on the upper plate. So don't rely on the armor that much, but know when to shoot and when to back out. Also use your teammates as scapegoats. So. The back chat will be the punching bag. <laughs> and we'll just take care of the rest. So this tank is very fast. Very fast to maneuver and very accurate. Shoot the tracks off. Bounce. Upper plate. Auto bounce angle. You do not need the gold shell. The heat shell. The APCR is very good. Meh, meh, meh. Enemy armor is damaged. 
Also, the, the traverse on this vehicle is very fast. So you can twist and turn the vehicle's hull very quickly. But yeah, this thing is a lot faster than the FE4202. A lot faster. Spotting damage, OP. So yeah, very simple game. But this vehicle, bounce a shot from the cheek. Bounce a shot from the upper plate when it's auto bounce zone. But yeah, it's a nice rendition or nice improvement over the FV4202. As you can see, that game was easy peasy and we did not break a sweat. So somehow first master badge from the vehicle. Oh well, but yeah, it's pretty easy. All we did is detract a bunch of heavy tanks for some spotting damage and yeah, do some damage to heavy tanks, do some slight damage to other tier 10s, and voila, simple enough. So basically, 3,800 damage, and we did not even take one hit, or take one point of damage. We took two hits, I believe, and both bounced, so that's good. But you do need to have zoom mod, in my opinion, the legal zoom mod, because you're sniping most of the time, and the armor will not save you. Already you reviewed the armor and it's slightly below the FE4202, so armor is not that good. It's no object 140, so don't rely on it. But you could bounce a few shots if you know how to angle, and if your haul down and the upper glacis is auto bounce zone, so some variation of the armor, but don't depend on it. Now, what will happen to the FE4202 is you'll get your crews automatically retrained into the Action X Centurion. All equipments will be automatically dismounted, so you don't have to use gold. And all equipments, all resources like your shells and your consumables will automatically dismounted. So everything will be wiped clean. You will have an Action X Centurion with no equipments, no shells, no consumables, and a fully trained crew because you already have the FE4202. Now, about the free premium tier 8 FE4202, they did not mention anything yet, so we don't know what will happen, so whatever. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys when the channel is fully restored so I can go back to making leaked videos. But oh well. So. Hasta la vista, baby. Sweet to dream.